Did you know that thanks to AI, you can create a professional business logo in under three minutes for free? Yes, it is possible. And in this video, I will show you exactly how to do it. So what you have to do is go on photo room and choose AI images feature and tap on AI logo creator. And quick disclaimer, AI images is a feature available for photo room pro users, which is paid, but you can try it out for free for a week. And I'm pretty sure that after a week, you'll be able to see why photo room has been named the most popular AI photo editor on the market. And also we're like three times cheaper than Canva. So, okay, let's get into it. To prove my point that it really takes less than three minutes, it probably takes like 10 seconds to create AI logo or even less, but in three minutes, we'll actually be able to create some good ones and have a couple of options and play with it. You will see. I'll put a timer on to prove my point. Okay, the timer is on, clock is ticking. Step one, write your prompt. Prompt is the text input that you give to AI. So Photoroom gives you a couple of examples. Like for example, K, we sell organic soap. I wanna create a logo for my vegan matcha cookies called Matcha Bites. So all I have to do is put the name first, Matcha Bites, and then I tell AI, what am I selling? I'm selling vegan matcha cookies. And Photoroom will create a bunch of different logos for me. Step two is play with styles. There's several different styles available on Photoroom. I would recommend you to start with diversity that's what I did that's why I got logos in many different styles but if you're more set if you know what your target audience are if you know that you're selling cookies for kids you can go for a more playful 3d style or you can go for something more luxurious minimalistic handwritten there's a bunch of different styles step free customize your logo I like the options that photo room is giving me but I would like to have a cookie included in my logo you can add your customizations at any time maybe i want my cookie to be bitten since my brand is called matcha bites or i want to see an option for a logo without text if there is one particular logo that you really like you can click on the free dots and generate four more or you can also customize that particular logo you can change the text for example well green is obviously a great color for a matcha brand but if you want to play with colors I can change it to red or orange, whatever you want to do. So as I told you, it took me less than three minutes to create all these options, but don't leave me just yet. Once you have your logo, there are a couple of things that I would highly recommend you to do. Number one, remove background from your logo and see what your logo would look like on different backgrounds, different pictures, different colors. The very important thing about logo is that it has to look good. It has to be visible on a very small picture, but also a very big picture. Number two, if there's any last minute changes, for example, you decided that you don't need your brand name in your logo, you can use retouch feature to remove whatever you don't want there. So as you can probably tell from this video, it's super easy to make a good AI logo. However, as AI logos are becoming more and more popular, there are a couple of very common mistakes that I feel like I keep seeing again and again. So what are the main mistakes people make when creating AI logo? Well, one number one is making it way too complicated. Simplicity is the key. Some of the best logos out there, like, I don't know, Chanel, Pepsi, Nike, Apple, are very simple. So aim for a simple design. Number two is using trendy or slash aesthetic elements. You know how people say that mushrooms are to Gen Z what pineapples used to be to us millennials? Um, some people just focus too much on aesthetics or just keep reusing the same graphics we're seeing all over social media. And the job of your logo is not to just sit there and look good. The job is to be memorable enough so your customers will see your logo and immediately think of you. And free is poor prompt input. When you do anything with AI, it's super important to take your time to find the right prompts. I would recommend you to use either Perplexity or ChatGPT to give you suggestions for AI prompts if you're finding it hard to come up with them. It's super easy. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT, give me 10 suggestions for prompts for my matcha cookie brand so I can create an AI logo. Or is ignoring target audience. A 
effective logo should reflect the preferences and the values of your target audience. So if, if you're creating a cookie brand for kids, logo should be playful. If you're creating it for adults and you're based in central Paris, it should probably be more minimalistic slash luxurious. Not considering scalability. AI logo that looks good at a larger size might lose clarity when you make it super small, when you scale it down. So it's super important to use resize feature, try out different backgrounds, try out different sizes. The goal of logo is to be super clear, super visible and easy to memorize. Poor color selection. Choosing colors that clash or don't align with the brand's value can lead to a confusing or unprofessional look. And if you need more help with that, check out our previous video where we go more in depth about AI logo creation. And finally, not testing your logo on real products. What I would recommend you to do is to remove the background, print out your logo and test it out in real life. It really does make a difference. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see you soon. Bye.